your favorite group are you in? Yellow. Yellow. Go find the yellow basket. Right. Preschool now is like kindergarten was years ago. In kindergarten, we used to teach them how to write their names and stuff. You go to kindergarten now, you sort of have to know how to write your name, and the skills have gotten harder and harder as the years have progressed. In our preschool classroom, we have centers set up for the children. When they come in here, it is exploration and learning through play. Uh, the children are learning to grow socially, emotionally, physically, and academically. So we put out materials and activities and guide them to encourage them to learn these skills in preparation for kindergarten. Three, four, five. There's a stark difference between children who have attended preschool and children who have not, just in regards to kindergarten readiness. For example, they have built a stamina up for sitting on the carpet and listening to directions, stories, etc. They already know how to stand in a line, open and close their glue. So we have targets to meet by the end of the year in all academic areas, in reading and writing and math, etc. So if I can skip that initial part of how to be in school because they've already done that, they're going to get further by the end of the year. There we go. Look at us. How many apples are in this bag? Everything is intentional. It's not just eating, it's talking about what the food looks like, what it tastes like, the shapes, the colors. Um, and that's just how it is always, these open-ended questions and communicating and that back and forth communication. I think that's part of that positive interaction between the teachers and the, the students. And those are the meaningful experiences that they, they need and, and when they go into kindergarten. There should be a logical progression, K through five, six through eight, when they get to me in ninth grade, there should be an expectation of reading competency, fluency, mathematical ability, logical comparison, com compare and contrast. So by making sure that those foundational pieces are in the preschool, I know that they're getting a good start when they go to elementary school. And by the time they reach, reach me, they'll be in great shape.